So can ChatGPT be used to translate information? If you're living abroad and you get information from a parking garage in this example, um, can you translate that information easily? You can. Let's go ahead and see two ways that you can use ChatGPT to give you the information that you need. So the first, first of all, the barcodes doesn't matter, right? It's going to work either way because it's a barcode. But here, if you want to understand what this information is, one option is to just highlight it, okay? And then you can copy. And then we can, let's just post this into ChatGPT, uh, excuse me, to Bard. So but we're going to ask it to translate to English. Okay. There you go. And this will come back and give us a translation. Okay. And it does a pretty good job of it. It formats it, uh, tells us what needs to happen. I mean, it really works quite nicely. Let's use the same thing with ChatGPT. So let's just say translate to English. And I spell English right? I think I found what you did. Okay, and there you go. This is ChatGPT. Okay, now notice here within ChatGPT, we're getting kind of, uh, it's kind of off a little bit, right? This is not the address. Nowhere near the clarity of Gemini. I mean, come on, that's beautiful, right? I mean, it really, really did a nice job. Even formatted it a little bit better than the original file, which is there, okay? Which is there, okay? So nice, sweet, right? Works great. Okay, now let's go ahead and try another option. So here, if you highlight the text and you do a right click, okay, you can hit copy or you can go up here to the AI, okay, and see what it will do. Okay, and it won't do it right here, translate into English. Now this is built into Evernote itself. So right inside of Evernote, the document is inside of Evernote. See it right here, parking. We're inside of Evernote. I should have been more clear on that, sorry. It's right here inside of Evernote, the parking. And now look, it gives a really nice translation as well. Okay, and then you can just copy it and put it directly into Evernote if you like. Okay, so that works pretty well. So that's how we can use Evernote to do it. And it's an AI button right there in Evernote. The last one that we'll use, we'll do a right click on this file. We'll do a right click on the file. Let's see here. It gives us the option for Copilot. Um, no, it doesn't look like it does. I thought you could see it with Copilot, but you can't. Okay. The second option that we can do, so that's cool, right? So we worked, we did this one here, we highlighted it. We, It's not in the right click, okay? It's right here under AI, where we can do the translation built right into Evernote, and then we get that data in there. Again, I think this is the best information that we've seen printed right here. So I'm gonna copy that, and I'm gonna paste it right underneath my ticket inside of Evernote. So I have it now, but let's go over the last one, which is chat GPT. Let's try that again. I'm going to do a new note. And then all we're going to do is we're going to just drag this file and drop it. Notice how it's got the partial circle there. It is. It's almost done now. Once it gets completely done, we're going to hit go. Now this will be interesting. I didn't tell it to translate. It just assumes um that it, we're translating into english and it must be because it's based on my user account and this is how it came out now this one is very clean we're going to go ahead and look and see what this looks like in comparison with the one that we did with gemini which we already have in evernote so let's take a look and paste okay so very similar, although Gemini still beats it, in my opinion. Um, gives us more details. It's a little more 
uh, condensed. But the cool thing um, is that it went ahead and did it just as a drag and drop. So we literally just dropped it right into ChatGPT and it translated for us. So there's a few ideas on translating PDF files from different languages. All of them are good options. Good luck.